Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to make a realistic soccer ball in Blender using really simple modeling techniques. Um, this is very, very beginner friendly because there's no advanced modeling. We're really just going to be relying on features in Blender to simplify the whole process for us and then adding the most basic of materials to create a soccer ball. So if this is something you want to learn, keep watching and I'll show you step by step how you as a beginner in Blender could make this very soccer ball render that you see here on screen with these really nice looking um, materials. Let's jump into a new scene on Blender. We're just gonna select all of the default objects and press delete. And then we're gonna go shift A. We're gonna to go to our mesh options and we're just gonna go down, add in an icosphere. And by default, the subdivisions here should be set to two. So leave it as it is, that's what we're looking for. And if this icosphere, you're simply gonna to go to your modifiers tab, click on add modifier search and type in sub and get a subdivision surface. By default, the viewport is set to one. So just leave it as it is and come to the drop down and apply that. So now if we go into edit mode, we can see this is what we have. So let's go to our edge select option. And you can see we're made, it's made out of a whole bunch of um, pentagons here. So we've got one side, two sides, three sides, four sides, and five sides here that make up this pentagon. And you can see there are small ones and then there are big ones. And once you have that selected, you'll see that there are a whole bunch more that need to be selected. So what are we gonna do? We're simply just gonna go over to select we're gonna go over to select similar over here. And then you're gonna go down to face angles and it should select all of the other ones as you see over here. And that just makes the whole process a lot simpler for us. And then with all of these edges active, press control B on your keyboard to create a bevel. And as you can create your bevel, roll your middle mouse button up once to add in an extra segment. And once you have a seam that looks like this, just left click like so. And then we're gonna go Control minus or Command minus on the keyboard. And that's gonna shrink the selection, as you can see here. And if all of these are active, we're just gonna press Alt S and just scale it in along the normals. We're gonna scale in like so. And with that done, we're just gonna go Control B to create a bevel again, rolling down the middle mouse button. So we only have one bevel, so something like this. And then we're just gonna left click and we're gonna make sure that that stays active. We're not gonna deselect it. In fact, let's go over to our data properties. Let's just go over here to the vertex groups and click plus and assign those to that. So if we ever need to get them again, we have the selection there. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tab back out. We go to our modifiers, we're gonna add modifier, search, and we're gonna type in sub and get a subdivision surface, like so. And we're gonna right click and go shade smooth. And already you can see we have our soccer ball here. And it's looking really nice. So now let's add our placeholder materials. So with the soccer ball selected, we're gonna go over to our materials. We're gonna click new. And let's just call this part white. And by default, everything's gonna have this white material. And then we're gonna go plus and go new. And we're gonna create what we call um, patches. And these will just be our black patches, okay? Um, let's just say black. Like say so, black patches. And then we're gonna tab into edit mode. We're gonna go to our face select option, deselect everything. And we're gonna go ahead and just select one of these smaller patches. So we're gonna select this one and we're just holding in shift and selecting the six faces that make it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see here we have it active. Then you're gonna to go to select. You're gonna to go to select similar and you're gonna to go to area. And you're gonna come here to the select similar tab and just mess around with this threshold, bringing it down a bit until you only have these smaller patches selected. Now, you can go control plus or command plus to go to selection. And we have all the bits selected that we want. And we're simply just gonna go over to the black patches and assign that. And if you go over here to your viewport display, you can change that in the viewport so you can see it's the darker material. And now if we tab back out, you can see we have our soccer ball. So I bet you didn't think it's that easy to model a soccer ball. It's actually really straightforward and now we've done it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna add in a camera. Just move it back in the scene and then in camera view by pressing zero on the number pad, you can see the camera from the front or the, the soccer ball here from the front. And let's go over to our render options. Let's change it to cycles under the render engine. Under your max samples for the render, you can change it to something like 65, should be fine. And then we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna add in under our lights and every light. In our front view, we're just gonna go G and move it over. We're gonna go R to rotate. And under our light properties, let's give it a strength of 300. Let's give it a size of three meters. And then in our top view, we'll just rotate it so it's facing more forward. 
Then we're going to go Shift D to duplicate, move it over. We're going to go R to rotate it in. Then Shift D to duplicate it, rotate it like so. Shift D to duplicate this one, rotate it in like so. This we have these lightings. These ones at the back are going to give us some room lighting. So in our camera view, if we go Z and we go rendered, we can see this is the lighting that we have. So it's looking pretty good. Optionally, if you wanted to, you can go Shift A and add in a plane. RX90, press Enter. So you've rotated 19. You can scale it up, scale it on the X as well. And then you can move this back in your scene, however much you want, scale it up. And now you have a background to which you can also go and add a material and you can call it background, just BG. And then give it whatever color or value you want. I'm going to go with a darker value. Something like that should be more than adequate for what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to stick with that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then let's select the soccer ball and let's go into our shading workspace. Let's go and get the black patches here. And let's just simply go and make the base color here black. Okay. And then let's go shift a search and get a noise texture. Let's take the color and plug it into the roughness and let's go shift a search and let's also get a ramp color ramp place it on here and for now I'm just gonna press Z and go into solid view for now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go drag this value up and I'm gonna make the scale here 12 and now if we go into camera view and we go Z and go rendered we can see we have a texture kind of form here but we can come here to the detail and ramp that up and we can take up the roughness as well and that's looking a lot better. And now all we have to do is go shift a search and get a bump node. Let's take this color and plug it into the height. And then let's take that normal and plug it into the normal of the principled. And then let's just take the strength and make it 0 0.05. And now that's looking a lot better. So now we have a simple material here. All we have to do is just grab this whole setup, right click and go, um, let's go copy. Let's click on the white patches and just grab these two nodes and press delete. Then right click and go paste and then simply come here to the base color and then change this one to not full white, but kind of like a bit of an off white like that. Um, and that looks really good. So there we have it. If you wanted to, you could always create another material and just call it um, seam. And this is a little idea here for you. And you can just go to the base color and make it kind of dark and almost a bit brown. And then tab into edit mode, deselect everything, and then go to the data properties. And then with this group, just click select, because remember we added that inside seam. And then just go to your materials tab and just assign that seam. So now if you go Z and go rendered, you can see it looks a little bit darker on the inside. And something about that just adds a really nice contrast. You can always come here and mess around with the color here and the value. But I think that really adds something to it makes it just look a little bit more, like it just has a bit more depth, something like that. But you can mess around with that all you want. I'm just gonna go with something like that. So now let's go render and render the image. And there we have our soccer ball. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on making a realistic soccer ball in Blender. And I'll see you next time for another Blender tutorial.